हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन थ्री एड्रेस कोड जनरेशन फॉर बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द थ्री एड्रेस कोड जनरेशन फॉर द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन कंसिडर्ड फॉर फ्लो ऑफ कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट मीन्स हियर वॉट एवर द सिक्वेंस ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन इज देयर फॉर द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फॉर दम हाउ द बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू द थ्री एड्रेस कोड वी विल वील बी लुकिंग एट दैट वन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन you will be able to generate the translation scheme of boolean expressions for flow of control statements another learning outcome is convert a given control flow statements into its three address code let us move ahead to do these things basically there are two methods of translating the boolean expression we have seen in the earlier video the first method that is numerical representation that how a normal boolean expression is uh, converted into a three address code for the numerical representation now in this video we will be looking at the second method that is the boolean expressions which are used for uh, uh, controlling the flow of the execution of the program so for this one for the second method we are representing the boolean expression uh, for the position of the execution of the statement so uh, after whenever a particular statement is checked by, uh, by for a condition uh, according to the boolean expression based on the true and false value the control flow the execution flow of the program will be decided what to do next so considering this one in this one usually uh, the statements like if if then else statements or loop statements you may say switch case statements these are used for these one let us look at the flow of control statements uh, which are used for using the boolean expressions we know that the value of the boolean expression is implicit that is the boolean expression value is either true or false value and this value we will be representing we will be using for the flow of control so consider this example here that if e then s so what is here if e is true then the statement s is executing so therefore what we are saying here is e must be true if the statement s is reached so indirectly s is executing when e is true right now let us see how it is executing we are talking about the grammar here we are considering the three things that is a normal if then statement another type if then else statement or while do statement consider the grammar for it a statement s is there s is representing a statement here even s1 and s2 or also so the first statement we are representing is a simple if statement that is if the boolean expression b if it is true then s1 is executing the second type of expression is if and else so in this case what happens if this boolean expression b is true then s1 is executing else s2 is executing the third type of statement which we are considering here is while while loop here in this one while the boolean expression is true the statement s1 is executing and this loop is executing or repeating till boolean uh, this value of b the boolean expression b is true once it is false it will come out of that loop so here b is considered as a normal boolean expression s1 s2 s these are the programming statements so let us talk about the simple statement the first type of statement which we have considered so the type of statement is s representing producing if boolean expression then else s1 so here we'll be take we'll be considering the two things here that is one is the code how the code is generated for the flow of control statement another one we will be looking at the syntax directed definitions so in this one you can see that the first type that is this one is code for the control flow statement what is this code how it is executing what we are saying here that if the boolean expression b is true then s1 is executing so for this we require the thing that is the code for boolean expression b has to be first generated okay whatever the expression for that boolean expression is given that is executed after that it is generating two labels what are those those two labels what will happen if the boolean expression b is true what will happen if the boolean expression is false so for these two things the the flow of the control execution is changing so for this case 
we are creating two labels b dot true which is representing the statement which is executing when the boolean expression value is true and b dot false this label is representing the statement where if the statement that is a boolean expression b is false then it is executing so in this case what happens if b code is generated after that the two labels are generated so if that boolean expression is true then s1 is executing else it is coming down that is else or if it is true it is executing s1 and again coming down so this is what the flow of control statement which is a code is generating so for this let us see what is the syntax related definition so what we are doing for this one b dot true a new label we are creating for b dot false not necessary to create a new label why because b dot false this is representing the end of s1 that is s1's next code or you can say a statements next code directly s is our statement so that is the next code therefore we are saying here that b dot false is equal to s1's next uh, equal to s next also it is representing the next of your current statement so the code of s is generated as first b's code what we have seen here then the label b true is generated so this b true as it is it is writing here as a label and then s1's code is written and we are saying that we are not explicitly writing the false label for b because we are considering that as s1's next or s next so that will be taken directly by this one let us see the example for this so this is our example if the statement is if a less than b then s1 so what will happen here the boolean expression b is considered as a less than b so here we are assuming that the attributes true or false value these are those are existing as l true and l false so these are the labels which are created for this one so if this is the statement what will be the label created for this 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 is the three address code if a less than b then go to l true so that is what is l true l true is the execution of s1's code what is s1 s1 is the next statement which is executing when the boolean expression b that is a less than b is true so that is written here otherwise go to l false what is l false l false is the next statement after s1 or it is the next statement of your statement so that is l false so this is what the three address code which is generated by the above example let us talk about another type of expression which is if and else so if boolean expression b is true then s1 is executing if boolean expression b is false then s2 is executing so here also the same thing first we have to generate the code for b we have to see that we have to generate the three address code for boolean expression b first so that is generated then again we require two labels that is b b true and b false why because what to execute if the boolean expression b is true what to execute if the boolean expression is false so for both the things we have generated now what will happen if this is true then it is coming for s1 score and after that it it has to go to the next of s so that is directly given here otherwise if it is false then it is coming to false and it is executing this s2 score that is what the code which is generated for the flow of code control statement now the same thing we have represented that as a translation scheme here or a syntax directed definition so it is in this format so what is happening here b is true label is generating b is false label is generating now what do you mean by s1's next s1's next is nothing but your s2's next that is equal to s next so whatever this is there this is called as this statement next what what is the sequence how the code is generating first boolean expression b is code is generating then the label true is written so that is generate written here and then we have to write s1's code so s1's three address code is generated and then it is generating one more string here that is go to s next so here it is generating that go to the next one so that is written so for that the code is generated next is the label that is b dot false so next label is this one and after that s2's code is generating and then it is coming down so this is what the three address code generation uh, which is presented as a syntax directed definition let us see the example for this the example is like this in this one if a less than b or c less than d then s1 else s2 so what will happen if a is less than b then it has to go to true so it is obviously or is there so true directly it will come to l true it will not go for the next statement but if it is false then it has to come to the next statement it has to check whether it is true if it is true it will come otherwise it will go for the false statement that is s2's execution 
otherwise it will execute the next code that is s1 code okay after the execution it will come out of it let us see another syntax related definition for while it is same as you can see like if then else uh, what will happen here this is the loop statement where it is it is beginning every time so what is there the s1 code is repeating till b is true so here b's code is executed first it, the three rest code is generated again true and false values are there if the b's value is true then it is executing s1 code now here one more thing the difference here is it has to go to begin again so that is what it is going to loop back again and once the b's code is false then it will come out of this one so this is the flow of control statement for this while loop the same thing is represented as the syntax related definition here so here the new label begin is created true label is created false label not to create not required because it is the next statement of your s so s1 dot next is again a begin one so that is given here and then what we are doing we are generating the begin uh, label and then b's code then true label and then s1 code and then the statement what we are written that is go to begin so you can see here this is our example while a less than b do this is the statement this is the statement so for this the three address code is generated using the above syntax related definition so you can see here if this is true then directly it is going to l2 so l2 is the loop where the statement is there so it will come here it will execute this part and again the repetition is go to l1 so every time it will go here once it is false it will come to else next that is down here like this the three address code is generated for the while statement pause the video and try to convert the given below expression into the three address code uh, using the above translation schemes this is your example given for you now the answer is like this one it will generate the statement like this these are my references Thank you.